Hello and welcome to Little Antique Me. That's me. I'm so excited about today's video. I created uh, a video about a year ago, actually it was a year ago for Halloween, inspired by Mary Poppins and it has been one of my favorite videos I ever did. It's actually one of my most popular ones on here which is pretty fantastic. Thank you guys for watching it. And I found out a while ago that the new Mary Poppins movie is coming out. It's coming out this week and I'm so excited because Mary Poppins is one of my favorite characters, whether in the storybook or in the movie. Julie Andrews has always been a favorite actress of mine and now I'm so excited about the new one. I decided to do my version of Mary Poppins Returns and my mom gave me this book and uh, I'm going to do a look inspired by this plus one inside the book which I should have up here for you. you can see her hair. Uh, I'm just, oh, I'm just so, so excited. I just love her style. I love how beautiful she looks. And I'm also very excited to see this movie. If you're like me and want to dress up for the movie, here's a little tutorial, or you can look up my other one, which I will post the link below for you. And I'm so excited, let's get started. So I'm using day old set hair. I need bobby pins, a comb, my smoothing brush, my lady luck pomade, and later I will use my big sexy hairspray as well. The set I did on my hair is actually the video I posted not that long ago, and I'll leave the link below for that. So first I'm going to apply the Lady Luck Pomade throughout my hair to just smooth any of the flyaways and make it easier to mold and shape the way I want it to. I'm going to start by tucking this side behind my ear and just bobby pinning and covering the bobby pin with the hair behind it. And then I'm going to just start combing everything down because she had a very sleek look. I am going to go ahead and tease underneath my hair to give it that fullness and to give it something to wrap around and tuck under. For this side, I'm just going to start molding it and shaping it into the shape I want. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more Lady Luck hair pomade to it to make it more moldable. So I take my comb and I'm going to comb it all forward and then where it wants to bend back, I'm going to place a pin curl clip to hold it for now and shape it on down and around. And same thing underneath of it, I'm going to continue just moving and shaping almost like in a S pattern towards my face. And again on the back on this side, I went ahead and back combed it as well underneath to give it fullness. A lot of this hairstyle ended up being just kind of moving and shaping where I saw it wanted to lay and where I wanted it to kind of go too. I had a little trouble with this little one in the front so I got out my spray and play and I'm going to spray it really well around the front edge and hopefully make this one lay down and not stick straight out from my head. Next I'm taking my hair net and I bought these at Sally's. I'm going to put it on my head and put it over top of the back and actually use it to hold my style in place while I spray it and then also while the hairspray dries. You could actually leave this in for the style. As you can see, you can't really see it. So if you wanted just to, if you were gonna go out and it was windy, you could leave your hairnet in. For my cheeks, I used my Tarte Blush in Party and I went ahead and gave her Mary Poppins Rosy Cheeks. Next I went in with my Essence uh, Liquid Eyeliner and I just followed my lid. I didn't want too much of a wing. It has a little bit on the end but it's just to kind of enhance the shape of my eye because if you look at the picture she actually doesn't have very much eye makeup on. Mm -hmm. 
Next I'm going in with my Lash Sense by Cinegence. And this is a new lash or mascara to me. I really like it because I don't have to apply too much. It actually has something in it that'll help my lashes grow, which is even better because sometimes I need a little extra. For my lip color, again, I'm going in with Cinegent's Lip Sense. And this color is called Fly Girl, and I'm going to apply three coats of this. After I've let it dry, I'm going to use my Lip Sense Gloss. This one's actually one of their colored glosses, and I like it because it adds just a little extra color and shine. Once your hairspray is dry, go ahead and remove your hair clips and take off your hairnet or leave it on if you prefer. Thank you so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I, like I said at the beginning, am very excited about Mary Poppins Returns. I cannot wait to see it. If you go and see it, let me know what you think because you'll probably make it there before I will, because I'm terrible. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you try this style and wear it, I would love to see. So if you could send it to me either on Instagram or Facebook at Little Antique Me, or you could tag me on there, or you could even email me at littleantiqueme at gmail.com. I will leave all that below for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day, a great week, and may God bless you and keep you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!